Well, hello people, how are you today? Now I'm just going to talk about a couple of things, I've got no real news items today. I'm just going to kind of talk out loud. Well, as probably most of you know, Harry and Meghan, you know them, released their documentary. Always, of course, it's about them, of course. And how they are such victims. And how they so much would like their privacy. Yeah, right. They're basically using their royal titles as a cash cow. Harry is a very weak simp. Megan's only showing the true nature of a femon, that's all. Of course, if you knew Megan years ago, she wasn't so squeaky clean, like she is supposedly now. And it's not really easy to join the royal family, because there's a few things you have to follow. Protocol is one. Duty is another. And that's way out of Megan's league. Apparently it was pretty cold when she met the Queen the first time. Well, I know why. Megan already thought she was a queen, and there can't be two queens, can there? But I think the queen saw Megan for what she really was straight away. You've seen another femon like this as well, Amber Turd. Of course, these are femon extremes, but they are femon traits nonetheless. They all have them. Deceit, lies, deflection. When a femon wants to get rid of her husband, she'll start rumors about him. Rumors, of course, that aren't true kind of innuendos, attack his character, and that basically takes all the attention away from her and onto him, and it's all his fault. And unfortunately, after about 10, 15 years of marriage, being told by the Femon he was the best thing since chalk and cheese, he's kind of a bit shocked. Nearly every Femon is fake in some way or other, and you don't have to dig too deeply into their lives to see all the cracks. But unfortunately, some men just blindly believe them. Like they say they're oppressed, don't they? Well, let's just check that out. So here's just a headline, and it's spoken by supposedly a femon. I groped my male boss at the Christmas party. Snogged female pal. Should I resign? Well, if you were a male, you wouldn't have to resign. You would be fired. But because you're a femon, I suppose you probably get promoted. And that's the way real society is, isn't it? Femons don't seem to have to follow the rules and regulations like men do. If a man does something and gets charged, he goes to jail usually. If a femon does the same thing, she'll probably get a slap on the wrist or not charged at all. If a man walks along the street and drops his pants or trousers of whatever country you're in, he would be charged, arrested at least. But femons seem to be able to strip off anywhere. And of course the Femons keep on saying that the world is a man's world. But it certainly doesn't appear to be, does it? It's pretty hard to think that Femons are oppressed. It's more likely to think that they are privileged and entitled. Quite a few years ago I used to think that what came out of Femons' mouths was 50% lies, deceit and deflection. It appears I may have been wrong about that. I believe the percentage is way higher now. That's just a couple of thoughts of my mind. Uh, what do you guys think? Oh, I know. The one you have is an angel. Femons are all the same, basically. I'll catch you later, guys, because it's time for my medication and a little lay down. See you later, guys.